welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. How are you? How are you feeling? What's the vibe? What's the energy? Normally, I would do a full daily um, reading, a full daily poll uh, for you guys on Bahati Life Love Notes, but today I felt called to do a full general reading for the collective here on my YouTube channel and also do that daily poll for you guys there as well. So I'm not entirely sure what the question is that Spirit wants us to ask or to focus on right now. I just know that... I'm going to be shuffling, pulling from the tarot this afternoon because I feel really, really called to. My heart is so full to do this to, for you, for us to, um, right now. So we'll see what the energy is. Actually, when I was um, driving this morning, I actually had a vision of myself and how I was supposed to um, pull the tarot. So I'm just going to honor that and see what comes up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we have here. We've got some cards that jumped dropped on the ground, so I'm just going to grab those real quickly. All right, let's start with that. So four of wands and ten of swords reversed. Interesting, interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been working with this magical powder. It basically allows me to look at the candle flame and read energy. Interesting, I'm getting a vision um, of someone standing on the edge of like, I was gonna say the edge of the, uh, I was gonna say the edge of the water, but spirit almost says like an edge of a cliff and they're just kind of looking out on the horizon. It definitely feels like feminine energy. And I feel like she's waiting for something to come in. Um, I do get a feeling of, um, like a feeling of expectancy, but I also feel like a little sense of like closing out like a chapter in her life. Like she's genuinely feeling like, it's like that those feelings of like joy that you're starting over, but also the feeling of, um, Spirit is also talking about masculine energy getting a lot of finances, um, resources, money coming in, believe it or not. I think masculine energy is waiting for a paycheck or waiting for a chunk of money to come in. It feels like it's um, it's questionable. It doesn't feel like it's a guarantee. You'll. It's one of those things where I feel like masculine energy is, is um, you'll believe it when you see it. Um, I'm also seeing food. Um, a lot of food being put on the table, a lot of like a big banquet of food, a lot of food being put in front of, I, I don't know why, but I'm getting a vision of a child, like a baby. Um, uh, and it's like food that this child cannot actually eat. And, and it's almost done in like jest, like they're joking around. Um, these are random visions that are coming to me as I'm working with this with this powder. I see someone climbing a tree, um, climbing a tree. They're trying to, they're very determined. It's not safe what they're doing, but they're determined to get to the top of the tree. They're determined to get to the, to a, like a high vantage point. Um, I feel like someone's doing something at any, with any, at any stakes or at any stakes, something about getting to a certain point um, in your journey in your life is going to give you additional um, it like next step. So this is giving me spiritual journey. Someone's doing something very similar to Kundalini um, healing. However, this is when you advance to the next stage in your life or in your spiritual journey or within yourself 
healing journey and when you finally get to a certain point you guys are like you have a lot of energy and ambition when it comes to climbing to the top um spirit is talking about from the root to the top to the treetop you guys are climbing to the very top of this um tree in order to better understand yourself and your healing and once you get there there's going to be a certain you're going to have a different vantage point you're going to be able to see certain things at the top of the tree i'm seeing an eagle like or you see a vision of an eagle and you know that it's a spirit guide or you know that it's an ancestor basically um for those of you guys that are on your healing journey right now keep going you're soon gonna really hear from a, a spirit guy or an spirit guide or an ancestor or an ascended master this is something that you normally they're gonna start speaking to you really loudly they're gonna start start speaking to you very clearly um you actually might be hearing their voice over the voices of those you know in your actual ex experience meaning like they they have a message that they want to share to you guys i uh let's see do you see the candle right now they have a lot of energy and messages that is they want to share with you guys it's going to come through as eagle spirit or a bird spirit a bird of like a predator bird interesting This bird or this um, ancestor, or this this guide is going to be very, very protective of you and your energy because it's you've almost ascended. You've absolutely ascended to the next level. Um, you've dedicated a lot of time and energy to your spiritual healing or opening your third eye or grounding yourself for the sole purpose of opening up your third eye and your crown chakra. And for that reason, it's you're gonna start getting rewarded by this. I don't know why I'm hearing like an emphasis on someone who used to party and go out a lot or um, someone who used to entertain a lot of people. There's a lot of activity with going out all of it's not that it got quiet. It just it's it's like your your priority started shifted and your eyes, your third eye is opening your crown chakra has been opening because you did something to activate it and to open it up. So you're just you you every day you're like climbing and you're learning and you're experiencing and also I'm getting this mirroring. I'm seeing this mirroring action that's happening here. It's giving um, the high priestess where you're why did you say mirroring? Why like why did I just see a mirror? It's like your experiences, like your healing is gonna come from the things that you've attracted. Um, in your old life, in your old life, it's almost like you're living multiple lives in this life, if that makes any sense. If you know, you know. But in your old life, it, you put to death, damn, I was just about to say you put to death that life. Like you put to death that life and then literally the candle just went out. So you put to, to death um, the old you in this life and now you're opening up to this new to this new you to this new life to this higher ascended spiritually ascended person um this is a part of your journey it's like you had like a, a death an ego it's definitely an ego death but also like a death of the self um so in that past now you're like you you kind of found situations relationships careers that mirrored the lesson that it is that you needed to learn during that time you lived through it you've gone through it you transformed from it you ro you rose up from it but don't expect yourself to stay in that same space because you're so different now you're not even the same person if you think about like past lives a person has to wait until they die you know what i mean in order to start their next life or to start to, to, to reincarnate if you believe in that you've you've done this while you're living and parts of you have died um and you're you're re you're being reborn you're 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 rising up it's giving me like mirroring of like jesus christ type of energy um not to say that you're the son or daughter of god i mean but you are but it's like you you come you've 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 come out of your tomb you've come out of this dark place and you're ascended and you're looking for you're striving for a deeper more fulfilling connection with with the divine with your higher self and for that reason it's like you get you're climbing this tree and you when you get to the top of this tree your perspective starts to shift and you start to see things and that's when the ascended master or that's when this angel comes through and meets you you see it and it starts calling to you it also starts to protect you because now you're at a certain level in your spiritual game you've you've leveled up
Um, the powder that it is I'm using, you guys, is um, a magic powder. That's what I'm, I, I'm gonna call it. It helps to activate the flame um, and it allows this, the candle flame to speak to you. Um, it's available in my shop if you need it. Some of you guys are coming in conjunction with your twin flame or a, a soulmate connection. You, I don't know why the soulmate, a soulmate connection is coming through. Um, I don't know why spirit is showing me as this, it's almost like the guide of that person is coming through. And if you are on a journey to, to, if this is okay, God, oh my God, I'm getting overwhelmed. Um, so your spiritual, your spiritual match in this life is on a spiritual journey as well. And you're going to want to not only heal, work on magic to heal yourself and to activate your third eye and crown chakra within yourself, but also your partner. Um, because they're going to be, they're doing the same thing. It's almost like you see someone in the distance from another treetop from, from afar. Um, I also see that I almost, I just got a vision of someone looking down at the tree trunk and there's someone holding the tree trunk, stabilizing the tree trunk as if the tree trunk needed to be stabilized. But basically what spirit is showing me is their support. Also this relationship, this connection is also going to be, um, phasing out that person's sole purpose in your life was to get you to where you are right now. I heard um, a jumping point, like a jumping point on this battleground it gives you a different vantage. Also, it allows certain ancestors and certain guides or ascended masters, masters to be able to see you and find you. Some of you guys have been kind of stuck in a certain way or a certain um energy match and you had to there's no way that a certain guide or a certain um a sudden master could reach you if you stayed in this um specific vantage point or stayed in that certain energy point so when you start was doing um a, some of you guys might act, actually have uh, activated certain friendship circles and certain groups of people who are there to aid you through this journey. So be open and receptive to listening to them and hearing from them. Um, not just like advanced levels of people, but people of all walks of life. It could even be something that a child says. Look at this, you see the candle just lit up and with blue. This is a spirit that wants to come through and, and talk to you through the spirit, through the energy of another um, person. So be very mindful and aware and open to where wisdom is gonna come from. Some of you guys have a little bit of a blockage um, when it comes to where you get your guidance from and your your clarity and your lessons. Um, spirit, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize you guys can't even see the candle flame. I'm sorry. I'm glad I looked up. Sorry about that, fam. Just trust me. I mean, you don't have to, but... Oh, man. Um, spirit's talking a lot about rest, a lot of rest, um, lying down, even if you're not sleeping, still lie down, lay your head down, um, and lean big time into feminine energy if you can, as much as you can, um, especially for the winter months, I'm seeing December, January, February, March, March is when you're going to start getting it's big time, it's mid-March is when you're gonna start getting a reactivation of energy, like you're gonna start feeling fiery again, um, spicy again, like you're gonna start getting a lot of excitement and enthusiasm. You might wait until that to like launch a major, um, another project or starting a new venture. In the meantime, lean into your feminine energy being receptive. Um, Spirit wants to talk about the significance of a person with the letter D to start their name. What is it about them? I don't know if I necessarily trust the energies of this person, the intention of this person. I don't know why I'm seeing them with a calculator. Um, I don't know if this is Spirit saying that their intentions are calculated or like what they do and how they move is calculated. Um, there's more to this person's intentions than what meets the eye. So just kind of 
be slow, cautious, and deliberate with how you move move with them. Don't say, don't accept every invitation from them. This is a person with the letter D in their name, D and B. They have a lot of, um, I can't tell if this is actual spirits like around them that they're, they may not even be aware of it, but they have a lot of spirits around them or they have a lot of voices speaking to them. Um, so it's not just them. They don't have, they are going to, something about them could really pull you into trouble or drama. The letters D and B. They, there's a lot of drama. There's also like something that you could get stuck in. Um, this be really careful about doing business or investing in something. It feels like an endless pit. Um, it, it's like a, a I'm, I'm seeing spirits kind of showing me like a bucket and the bucket just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm also seeing some of you guys going on a cruise. I'm seeing some travel here. Um, if this is the case, actually disconnect from your phone. You're, you'll be forced to. Don't allow that to stress you out. Like actually allow yourself to be disconnected from your phone right now. Um, it's not so much what you'll get on that trip. It's what happens after the trip by you being completely receptive. It, it's, it, it's almost very similar to like gaining clarity on a venture. It's specifically a cruise or like a trip on a boat. Like it, even if you go on a plane, there's a trip on a boat, the significance of a boat. It's not a kayak, it's a big ship. It's like a big, a big boat. Someone's afraid like, or might be hesitant about getting on this cruise ship and I just feel like Spirit is saying like, just do it. Go for it, it'll actually be good for you. Spirit's talking about the, the little chitter chatter of like a child. Um, they're talking about like a child just kind of like chitter chattering, chitter 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 chattering to themselves. You think that it's to themselves, but they're actually talking to like a grand a grandparent who's passed. And then also I'm seeing a vision of a doll, like a doll, like when they're talking, the doll kind of falls over and the child's like not spooked by this at all. Um, you won't be able to see it until you look for it. And when you start looking for it, then you'll see it. Um, it's signs of the grandparent around this child. This child's been chittering with the grandparent a lot. This grandparent is just in really enjoying the time um, with the child right now. Allow them to have this now because it's not gonna be forever. As the child gets older, um, this toddler or this baby, the grandparent is going to begin to move on, but the grandparent is overlooking the child to make, make sure that it's safe while it's sleeping, make sure that its body is healthy and that it's always being protected regardless of, you know, let's say if it has a health, if the child has a health condition or anything like that, this grandparent is looking, overlooking. When the child hits um, three or four is when this grandparent is going to decide to move, not move on, but it's their job is pretty much done. They're not done, but they can take a step back um, and then they're gonna separate from the child um, and you know go on about other spiritual biz business. But for right now, this grandparent's main ju duty and responsibility that it was given and that it decided was a good match is to over watch the child until the child hits the age three or four and then it's out of like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say like a danger zone, but sometimes children when they're born, their bodies are still settling in, like hearts and the brain and all those things. They're they're still strongly developing. So this grandparent um, overlooks this child and the child chitters, like chitters a lot. Um, this grandparent is soon going to pass. Just see, did you see that? That flame just went out. The, the grandparent is soon gonna like ultimately pass. If they've already passed, um, they're, they're lingering around for the sole purpose of for the child to be around the child and to protect the child. Um, and then the child's gonna be able to grow up, you know, and, and pass any type of danger. This happens with any child that's born on this earth. Um, but this, specifically with this child. Everything else gets really quiet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I love that. Everything, the candle just got really quiet, so. So like we were saying, we have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords here. 
Um, Ten of Swords is reversed. Four of Wands is here. I actually feel really good about this energy right now. I feel really good about this. Um, Um, Ten of Swords is in reverse right now is giving me someone kind of stirring a coffee, like stirring a stirring cream in a coffee. Something something that you've been really battling with. Um, it's finally coming to an end. And something that you've been having a hard time letting go, or something that's been holding on to you, you've been having a hard time getting its hands off of you. Let's say it's a memory, let's say it's a blockage, let's say it's a breakthrough that you want to have but you just can't allow the release it's almost done and this is literally almost done i forgot to mention guys if you want this powder it's available in my shop it's really helpful yeah ten of wands you're you're really going to be breaking out of a, a, a dead spot in your life you know a, a spot where things have a lot of endings a lot of endings a lot of difficulty a lot of um emotional torment a lot of stress, a lot of baggage, a lot of angst or heaviness on the chest, worrying about the future, or having to go through every day and like breathing through each day. If you're a person who's been dealing with a lot of stress, anxiety, or tension, um, it's really important that you believe um, or start to believe that it's you can, you're capable of not having to experience these heavy feelings in your life. Just the thought of, just the seed of you planting that thought that like you can one day have experienced all that you've experienced without feeling the doubt and the heaviness of you know what you've already lived through or certain things that stress you out or make you worry about the future just having that thought that maybe you could have you know um a, a break in the clouds or things will lighten up and things will shift or you could have the best of both worlds actually helps to move it in seven of cups reversed page of cups reversed king of wands reversed three of cups reversed um, I feel like things are just a little, the sun card reverse, eight of wands reverse, seven of swords upright, king of cups. I, I, I am getting a really strong sense that you guys are almost, you're almost there. Seven of cups is giving you clarity. The sun card is the clouds in front of, the, the, the clouds in front of the sun that stops you from being able to see things clearly which de doesn't mean that the sun's not there. It just means that there's clouds in front of it. They're starting to pass. Page of Cups reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. Um, I feel like this is just waiting a another brief moment or a brief period. Um, and then things are gonna start changing and turning, kind of like the Wheel of Fortune that we keep getting lately. Let me just make sure that this is filming correctly. Okay, I mean, it'll do. It's not the best, but it'll do. King of Wands is your ability to not fight or force things into action. Um, this is someone who wants to be a good leader, wants to prove themselves and wants to show up, but the timing might be off. So just wait for good timing, wait for divine timing here. Nine of Wands, exactly. You might, if you go too soon or too early, look at this, hangman, literally what is I'm saying? Wait a little bit. If you go too soon or too early, you're, you're not gonna be totally prepared. So just wait a little bit longer, start developing yourself and your skills some of you guys are waiting for a big break yeah page of pentacles you guys are waiting page of pentacles reverse though you guys are waiting for a big break with something it's like life kind of feels kind of monotonous or you're trying to rush through your healing or you're trying to rush through into your graduation you're trying to rush to find another job you're trying to rush to move out of your parents house you're trying to rush into you know whatever it is really take your time with this please if you can if you can Then we have uh, Three of Cups reversed and the King of Cups upright. There's someone walking by my house right now, so you might hear my dog barking. Um, Three of Cups reversed and King of Cups upright. This is about maybe not being so available um, to large parties and large groups right now. I also am getting a strong sense that you're spiritually sensitive at this moment in time. Look at that. It's the hawk. It's the hawk coming in with an offer trying to give you information or trying to talk to you. Um, so maybe don't try not to distract yourself and try to do your best to kind of tap into King of Cups energy by being still and being like open to, you know, channeling certain messages from your guides to visions that it is that you're having. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, please. 
Something about your dreams. Yeah, three of swords. You're subconsciously um, healing yourself in your dreams. I mean, if the body, if you can put a spell or do some work or make a sleep, a sleep, um, I was gonna say a, a sleep mo mojo bag, but I'm almost seeing like you writing a petition and putting it under your pillow or tucking it in your pillowcase, a petition for healing while you rest or certain trends um, of healing that is occurring through your subconscious, through your, through your dreams. Certain things that you, you're looking for closure with or, or resolution with, certain things that you I'm hearing rightfully yours, and I'm also hearing the subconscious is demanding it. Yeah, King of Swords. The subconscious is really making itself clear and known. Like, you need to hear me. You need to see me in your sleep in your sleep state. I also remember when I was channeling, the, the candle was talking a lot about rest and, um, like, laying down into feminine energy. Seven of Wands. Because you're, you're active... Your physical body is focusing a lot on spiritual and energetic and emotional and mental healing. And that can actually be physically draining, even if you are resting. So give yourself, if that's what it's working on, allow it to, to kind of do that, you know, give it the energy that it needs. Also, I'm seeing a lot of protection around you or calling in a lot of protection around you. Yeah, the chariot as you're moving forward a lot of protection. If you think about like when you get in a car, you put your seatbelt on, you make sure that your tires are aligned, you make sure that there's gas in the car. It's things that make it that protect you along the journey so that you don't run out of gas or that you don't, you know, make sure that the lights come on when you click to say that you're making a left or a right turn. So I just feel like this is protecting yourself while you're in this journey right now. One last card. A lot of spiritual protection. Um, basically, what you do is you call in protection using Psalms. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Call in this protection. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of like talismans, little dangling things. Um, something very similar to wind chimes. Kind of like a dream catcher, but not quite. It's whatever you use in your culture to help you um, protect you while you're sleeping. Um, get that going um, while you sleep, while you rest. Or if you feel called to rest. If you guys are physically active and moving a lot, um, yeah, five of wands reversed and four of pentacles. This is exactly what I was going to say. That you don't need to be sleeping all the time. But when you are physically active and then you come home or you're in your rest space, make sure that you are making this space. Setting the intention that your sleep and is very restorative, reflective, and healing in nature. It's going to help you a lot. At this moment of time exactly it really helps with um you have nine of swords up right here so it's just resolving any type of shadow self wounds and things that is that you might need a little bit more closure on all right my loves i hope this reading makes sense i hope it resonates i hope it meets you with um, perfect divine timing i'm going to get this up for you as soon as possible sorry again that the, it wasn't totally um clear but also this powder um, can be found in the shop as well as the Higher Wisdom Candle. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hadi Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. 
Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention and alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.